This is West Hollywood still. And you can see all the advertisements here. Pretty much coming into Hollywood now. We preached in Hollywood yesterday. The Spirit of God moved upon us. A lot of people were listening. We handed out probably 100 gospel tracts, maybe more. This is the corner of Crescent Heights Boulevard and Sunset Boulevard. So anyway, um, going to be heading back home now. So we really need to pray that God's spirit would move. Um, I just don't see very many people in the local churches that are out there preaching the gospel. We need to encourage the people within to obey Jesus, who said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. He's promised to be with us to the end of the age. And we're getting closer. You can see um, with the gay pride parades which have been going on for 20, 25 years, you can see that Judgment Day is, is near. In fact, Sodom and Gomorrah was a picture of Judgment Day wherein God destroyed that city by fire because of their wickedness, their idleness, their sodomy. And every civilization that has practiced homosexuality and condoned it was destroyed. Greece, Rome, America is no different. America once believed in God. And we still have in God we trust on our coins. But which God are people trusting in? That's a question. And so we have to turn to the God of Holy Scripture the God who is holy, righteous, and just, faithful. Oh yes, he's a God of love also. That's why he gave us his only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But to believe in Christ means to obey him. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. I'm kind of amazed though that there's so many homosexuals who really think that Jesus loves them as they are in their sin and wickedness. Christ never came to save us in our sin. He came to save us from our sin, beloved. That means we must repent, have a, have a changed mind about ourselves and who we are, that our sin, whatever it is, whatever our sin is, we have to have a, a hatred for it. Our thoughts must be aligned with God's thoughts. And God says, He that lieth with man kind as with womankind, it is an abomination. Yeah, be not deceived, neither fornicators, adulterers, liars, drunkards, none of these people will inherit the kingdom of God. We must be clothed in the righteousness of Christ, the white robes of Christ's righteousness. Riches profit not in the day of death, but righteousness delivers from God's wrath. May the Lord bless this video to your hearts. May you continue to seek the Lord while he may be found. You have no guarantee how long you're going to live. None of us do. But we do know from Hebrews 9.27, as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this is the judgment. If you're a professing Christian, you need to seek the Lord. You need to preach the gospel in your city. If you can't preach the gospel verbally by open-air evangelism, then grab some biblically-based, faithful gospel tracts and hand them out several times a week, every day if possible. Get the gospel out. That's the command that Jesus said we are to do. Get the gospel out. Be a witness. Be an ambassador of Christ. God did not create you for yourself and your own pleasure. Okay, read Revelation 4.11. He is worthy. For thou art worthy, O God, to receive glory, honor, and power. For we were created for His glory, for His honor, for His purpose. He has created all things for Himself. 
even the wicked for the day of evil. But we don't want to be counted among the wicked. Otherwise, we will be cast into hell. May the Lord be with you.